Hello everyone, my name is Tokriva and uh, yeah, this is a video on this channel. Um, basically, mental health troubles not allowing me to record as much as I want or at all for the most part of the last year. But I'm like, I want, I want to try and get back into this. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of things. It's, I've got no time to explain really. Just for the foreseeable future, I'm gonna try to get one video a day out. Just, just the one to start with, just to get back into it, and then we'll see where it goes. And today, I'm bringing you Surviving Mars Green Planet, which is the expansion that's out today for Surviving Mars. Now, I'm actually, I really like Surviving Mars, but I haven't played as much as I'd want to play. And we're gonna change that by doing an actual series on this YouTube channel. Here, May 16th coming, but that is today, so it's out tonight, which is in the past when you see this, probably. I don't know, anyway. Let's start a new game, and we're gonna skip through tutorials because I actually know how to play the game. So, sponsor. There are some new sponsors, um, since I played last at least. There's the Terraforming Initiative that comes with the Green Planet expansion. There's also Brazil and Japan that come with the Space Race expansion. And... They are pretty decent, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. But I want to play as Japan. Just, I want to have a challenge. Uh, we'll also be Futurist. There is a Geo Engineer, which is new for Green Planet. Which allows you to do more terraforming, which is like the main thing of this uh, expansion. And City Mayor, which came with Space Race, I'm assuming. Um, because I wasn't here for Space Race. But I want Futurist because b autonomous sensors right from the start gets you a huge boost to exploring, which also gives you research boost uh, if you are Japan. And it gives you a huge boost by not costing continuous electronics, which is just amazing. Um, mystery, I wanna play The Last War. Mankind must put an end to war before war puts an end to mankind. Rival colonies, we want to fight Europe, we want to fight China, we want to fight PDX Interactive, no, no. Um, something with production, because China, China is, where is China? China is bias of mining, Europe has research, so we need someone with a production bias. So that's the blue sun. Space Y. It's basically Blue Sun or Space Y. Um, let's go with Space Y. Game rules. We're not going to change any of the game rules. There are some ways to make it easier. There are some ways to make it way harder. Like hunger. Can't import food from Earth. Like, um, whoa. The last arc can call a passenger rocket an events. What does it say? Be fruitful and multiply. Oh, Genesis. The quotes in this game are really cool. Cold wave. Nothing burns like the cold. George R. R. Martin. Unpopular opinion. I'm actually really liking this last Game of Thrones season. The only thing I really hate is that it's so super short. That's probably also the reason why so many people hate it. Because they know it's ending and there's not many episodes left. And everything has to be crammed into a small space. Anyway, the loadout. I want to have... You know, let's go just with the basic loadout that the game decides to give us. I mean, we would have to move quite a bit around to get more prefab buildings going. But we will send more very soon anyway. So, let's just go with this. Two RC commanders and RC transport. That seems fine. Selecting a landing site. Oh, this is so fun. I think I sp 
I, I, I tried recording an episode and I wasn't happy with the length of it and other things. And it was just super long, like 42 minutes. Um, I like this, except for the fact it doesn't have enough meteors. But 921, let's see if we can get a better spot. See, I don't want cold waves. Cold waves suck. I want the first three disasters are fine. I'm fine. Whoa. There's like one cold wave spot right here in the middle somewhere. Here. Hmm. The Gale Crater. You know, relatively flat. It's only 415 and I, I'm trying to get a challenge though. 465. That's not... Uh, I'd like to get over 500. I think this is perfect. I'm actually thinking this is the exact same spot I ended up with in my first video recording, so I'm going to pick a different spot. I want, I want to be above 500% challenge. That's, that's the thing I'm looking for. Lots of water, not a lot of metals and concrete, but almost no things there with the uh, disasters, which I don't want either. Relative four. Yeah, if we want above 500, we're gonna have to go with like a steep one or a mountainous one for sure. Could always just go on top of Mount Olymp Olympus Mons, the highest mountain in. The solar system at like 26 kilometers at its peak. But it's actually like a very crappy mountain because when you're standing on the top, its slope is so. The, 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 gradation, the, the gradient of the slope is so low that you can't see that you're on top of the mountain when you're on top of the mountain. It's crazy to think about, you know? Come on, give me something useful. I mean, I'm being very picky. I'll, I'll be honest with that. 540, you know what? Screw meteors. Screw the meteors. Let's just go. Welcome to Mars. Everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and loading its precious cargo. A remotely controlled eyes and hands on the red planet. Okay, so we already discovered water, which gets us a free milestone, which gets us some free research. I'm actually going to explore AI at the start, and that, that is extremely useful. Um, there's autonomous sensors. Again, subsurface heating. Um, let's put farm second. Let's put decommission third. Let's also outsource a thousand science for two hundred million bucks. Since we have waters, um, there's sixty-four metal here. There's another 66 there. And we'll do this one. And that's really nice that we find this much water this early. Also a lot of concrete, so this is a pretty good start for us. I'm gonna put you in the corner-ish here. And yeah. Do some scanning going on. We have our first anomaly, which is a research boost, which is going to be really good. And here we are on Mars. Welcome to the red planet. Soon to be the green planet, I hope. Well, there's our first RC commander. It gets some drones at some point. 
This one gets them too. This one is the Explorer. You're gonna go just straight for the Anomaly. We already finished the Explorer AI because of that, you know? It's, it's really... That's just... Oh, you get some sectors. You get some free research, or free tech out of it. It's really good. Um, let's see. We want... No, not the map over here. We want to at least start by getting some storage up. We want a universal depot to just drop some stuff. And immediately the drones will start to collect things from the rocket. Um, you're just outside of rocket range. So I'm going to put you inside rocket range. And let's put also a metals depot over here. A concrete depot we're going to need as well. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Let's get some basics going, which is we need power. We have a sterling generator available. Um, let's start with power generation in this area, roughly. And we'll build some cabling. Now cable costs one metal for each distance of five cable, so this is exactly 20. Um, what we will also want is a concrete extractor because we are gonna need concrete. We also need a cable obviously. Now a change they made, as far as I'm aware, is you only need one extractor to deplete an entire... Um, we can cancel it for a second. So it used to say how much resources you would get and it depended on how well it was on top of the deposit. Now it just takes the entire deposit in one go. It's always available resources 3k in this one. Which is actually really good. Um, let's see, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. Let's connect it up. They're gathering the metal. They're building the cable. Things we are also going to need is water and... Yeah, this is the thing. Um, we want a power accumulator. Because what we're looking at is... Yeah, go away. Um, so Sterling Generator will just produce power continuously. The solar, uh, wind turbines also produce power continuously. Solar panels only can... Uh, drone heavy load? No way. Solar panels only produce power during the day, obviously. But they are way cheaper to maintain. I believe I need the shift button for this, yep. There we go. And what we also want to build is our first drone hub, which we would like to have outside of the dusting range of our concrete. Uh, where are you? On the first one, infrastructure, obviously. And our first drone hub. We got a prefab, which User is really complete. nice. Hey, look! Anomaly analyzed. Milestone achieved. We scanned an anomaly, which gave us extra research, which gave us research for getting an anomaly. Does that make sense? I guess. At some point. Oh yeah, you can open the build menu with B. Ah, right. Um, also important, we need our sensors. Um, once our drone hub is up, I'm actually going to start... Okay, we want a sensor on that spot. Um, 
we want, uh, preferably over here, but obviously that's going to be impossible. It says unexplored sector, but it's literally one tile that shouldn't matter that much. And we want one up here. Now they still cost a uh, one part of electronics to build, but the maintenance is going to be free, so that's going to be nice. There we have the solar panel. We have our drone hub up, which means we get more drones active. They will also be gathering metals everywhere. Now, what we really want is to get our rockets going. I think you need... It's an engineering that you get cheap... That you get attacked that makes it cost less fuel to re, uh, refuel. But I believe they did add those supply pod things. And... I really would like to have an RC transport, but I think, uh, actually we have water, so we're not gonna need another vaporator per se. So I'm gonna send for a second fuel refinery and for a transport. Or I could send 10 extra drones. No, I'm gonna send for transport. That should launch, but I don't see where, oh no, it's over here. Oh. I was looking for it the first time and I was like, where is it? But it's down here. And you can say what you want, the music is pretty freaking cool. They still haven't built my concrete extractor. Jeez. So we have a total of 12 drones right now. There, there are 12 drones, perfect. How much is it to build a water pump? Five power consumption. And obviously machine parts. Yeah, we can already build farms. Crazy. And it's not in range of the dust from that thing. I know we don't have enough power. It's just because the cable doesn't exist yet. Um, hang on, hang on. Does that thing... Oh no, it doesn't produce dust, really. And this can be a closed system simply because the <clears throat> refinery and the vaporator produce one and use one. So that should be fine. We're doing fine. Our supply pod is on the way. It's the end of Soul 1. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, once again, there will be for the future one episode a day. But because this is launch day, I'm going to try to get a second one out today. But um, don't hold me to it because I'm just getting back into the swing of things, you know, just easing my way back in, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe because there will be more, finally. And I will see you all later.